We are live here. Good morning. Good morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Saturday morning. Uh, we have a young Sal behind me as well. Say hello to Sal. Okay. Hello. Okay. As you can see, Sal is, looks different this morning. He got his hair slicked back this morning. Got his ponytail going as well. Yeah, looking good there. No hat. Uh, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, by the way, guess how old is Sal? Okay. Guess how old is Sal? I mean, that's pop quiz for you. Pop quiz. How old is Sal? Yeah. VK say 25. Okay. So keep it going. Okay. I know some of you already knows his age, but I know if you haven't seen him, uh, if you see it start for the first time, guess his age. And if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Uh, we're going to have some fun this morning. By the way, before we start, finally, okay, after, gosh, how many years? About three, four years. I know some of you ask me for t-shirts on this channel. So, you know, I'm asking for merchandise. So I was kind of like reluctant, okay, because, you know, at the time my channel wasn't that big. I mean, still small channel. I mean, consider, okay. I mean, this is considered a pretty small channel as well. So finally, we launched uh, t-shirts yesterday. It's called Hello and Welcome Back T-shirts. Uh, I think, uh, and the, so I team up with uh, friends at Good Brothers Coffee, you know, Brent, I know for Brent for years. And so we come up with these T-shirts, all right? Has my face on it. It, says, it has a Hello and Welcome Back T-shirts. And I, I'm trying to come up with a T-shirt that is fun and some, you know, something fun and, you know, something, you know, lighthearted and also something ridiculous. I mean, if you see a lot of t-shirts out there has, you know, has their company logos on it or their company name, very dull. I mean, this is pretty nutty, okay? Pretty silly, yeah. I, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't my, it, it wasn't, it wasn't put my face on my t-shirt, but my, tell me about it, my family, okay? Especially my boys at home, they make fun of me so much. Okay, okay, they make fun of me about these T-shirts all day yesterday. So I can't even imagine. All right, but I mean it is fun shirts, and it's going on sale right now. Uh, so the T-shirt is a uh, twenty-five dollars on their website, but uh, uh, we offer twenty twenty percent off coupon because again, you, you know, you guys know me. I love coupons. Okay, I got 20% off coupon code for shirts. All right, and that shirt become 20 bucks. And then whenever you buy using that code, you're gonna get 20% off from the entire website uh, for the Brent's Good Brothers Coffee. So you can buy coffee with it. You're gonna get 20% off as well, except green beans. Okay, except the green beans. So, so I mean, you know, 20% off for a t-shirt and coffees. You know, whatever you guys wanna buy, and you have to wait about a couple of weeks. Okay, I know we're taking a, a t-shirt order right now and then after that we know exactly how many t-shirts we have to order and then we're gonna, after that, we're gonna roast, uh, so not, not me, and the Brent's gonna roast and then he's gonna ship it out. So we are looking about three weeks out, but you know, uh, it's gonna be a limited run, okay, limited run there, so we'll see how many t-shirts we, I mean, I was hoping for uh, 20, but so far we sold 30 t-shirts so far. Okay, so far we sold uh, 30 t-shirts, so I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, I, that's more than I expected, so. Okay, so let's go back to the sales. Okay, we have a 25 for VK, say Ryan. So Ryan, say 19, Thomas, say 24. Mr. Rainbow, Mr. Rainbow knows his age though. Uh, he say 28, but Justin say 18, Dave say 31. 31, buddy. Wow, so. Brody say 33. Okay. Uh, his age is 19. When are you going to be 20? Uh, next March. So next March is he's going to be 20. So he's 19 right now. He just turned 19 a few months ago. Yeah. So 19 years old. My son, my son turned 20 yesterday. Okay. I'm going to big shout out to my son Ian. Turned 20. Yeah. So I mean... So Sal is my son's age. Actually, he's a little younger than my son's age there. Okay, 
All right. And uh, what's SAR social plug? Uh, SAR is not a big social, social media guy, but uh, it's called Brista SAR on Instagram page. How many posts do you did? Five or six? Ten. Yeah, ten posts. Yeah. We're working on it. Yeah. yeah I, know he, I know he's working on it, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. What else? Uh, okay. So, again. So, let's uh, get everything out of the way. So, T-shirt. I have the link down below. So, make sure to check it out as well. Okay. Make sure to check out. The, make sure you use that code. 20% uh, off is pretty good. Pretty good there. And then I think, uh, I, so this t-shirt is going to make it somewhat, uh, it's going to be one and done, okay? I mean, I like to say one and done, but, you know, I don't see uh, we are going to make a lot of merchandise on this channel. Maybe, maybe someday, okay? Maybe someday we're going to have an actual store set up, you know, Hoon's Coffee store set up. But, you know, I don't see that happening anytime. So, but, again, so this is kind of like one-off t-shirts. And, I mean, once you sold out, it's going to be sold out, so... Uh, we have uh, someone asking me about the what do I do for a living? Uh, uh, I have a, so this is a computer shop. I, I own a small computer shop in Tucson. So this is a computer shop. And I turn one room into the kind of like coffee desk. So we do a lot of, you know, coffee videos here. So this is all my, I'm, I'm still using my iPhone, guys. Okay. I'm still using my iPhone for my, uh, my coffee videos. So very low tech. But it works, okay? It does work. So I cannot believe I've been doing it for about four years now. Yeah. 2019, yeah, uh, four years. It's been a while. I mean, it's not a long time, but it comes to social media standard, the making four years of video is pretty long, okay? All right. So, uh, so I've been, uh, this location I've been here for uh, since 2010. But I used to make all my videos at home, but eventually my wife said, I got to go, okay? That's why I moved down to my computer shop, so. Okay, folks, so this morning's video, uh, let's talk about the best hand grinder for filter coffee, okay? Let's emphasize a filter coffee because I don't care how good the hand grinder is, no way I'm going to make espresso. Okay, I know some of you would, okay? I know some of you likes to make hand grinder for espresso, but not me. Okay. Oops. By the way, uh, GP6, fantastic hand grinder, but it's fall down so easy. Okay, they're so easy to fall down, so just make sure if, you know, if, if you're not using, uh, remove the handle. Just set it right there, okay? So that's what you gotta do. Yeah, do not put the handle on. Anyway, so let's talk about the best hand grinder for filter coffee. So Seth and I, we talk about, so which grinder are we going to go against? I'm thinking we're going to start with, well, you know, we're going to talk about it, okay? And uh, I'm going to, uh, we're going to make some blind tasting as well. Uh, K Plus. Fantastic overall, okay, hand grinder, okay? Fantas fantastic overall hand grinder. But uh, comes to filter coffee, little short, little shy. Okay, little shy of I say what GP six. Yeah. So so I mean, I do have very nice hand grinders here. So this is a Commandante C forty. Uh, this is also a fantastic overall. It does espresso well. It does uh, filter coffee well. But it's not for the filter coffee compared to. GP6 or Petro, okay. So, so it comes to it. I think this is the best hand grinder for the filter coffee out there. Filter coffee for again, uh, taste can be very subjective, but if you are looking for something clear, uh, clarity, something juicy, uh, GP6 or you know what comes to clarity and something juicy. Juicy. I think I go with a uh, GP6. And if you want a really clear taste, I think you're going to go with a uh, Petro. Uh, what is your thoughts on that, Seth? I'm going to, I'm going to, Seth, stop watching. 
Yeah, I think the Pietro just um, takes it a little step further with the uh, clarity and how clean it is. Um, I think with the Pietro, well, at both ZP6 and Pietro, you can sort of, since they're more uniform, you can grind finer mm -hmm. on filter and like have it not clog and stuff. But I think I would agree from what I've tasted that ZP6 is maybe a little, little juicier. Yeah, I think GP6 is definitely more. I know some of you are out there. I mean, if you watch, I think, what, a couple of YouTubers made a video last couple of days. I know Kyle made a video about the uh, best hand grinder. And uh, and also, I think Lance made a video on the electric uh, grinder as well. Okay, but comes to, if you want something, you know, trust me, I try a lot of hand grinders, okay, over the years. And then the top of my list, okay, top of my list so far is K plus, okay, K plus, GP6, and Petra. Okay, so that is the top of my list there. Uh, Commandante, uh, we are going to test that as well this morning. I feel like fall a little short, okay, for some reason. I don't know why, because this is such iconic hand grinder for the over the years. And uh, I know if some of you saw my interview with uh, Josh from Alternative Brewing a couple of days ago, Josh has the uh, C60, okay? So this is C40, the 40 millimeter, and the C60 is 60 millimeter. And, uh, uh, and he told me that based on, based on C40, C60 is a lot more clear, more balanced, which means very close to GP6, okay? That's what I'm thinking, okay? Very, close to GP6 comes terms to taste, but I have no idea because there's only a few out there in the world, but uh, the price is quite pricey, okay? Uh, you are looking at around upwards of six to seven hundred dollars for a uh, hand grinder. Again, that is a lot of money, okay? Pitra, I thought Pitra was expensive. So this is the Brewbers coming at 475. Compared to Commandante, obviously, so this is a chip, okay? Uh, this one is a 58 millimeter flat burr, okay? So, uh, comes to clarity, is very uniform. So, uh, this is not exactly portable. You cannot take to the camping, but, you know, it's good for put on your coffee bar for sure. But obviously, grinder like, you know, GP, you know, any other hand grinder you can take anywhere, okay? Go on camping, go on trip. But, I mean, that's the reason we are talking about the filter. I'm, I'm going to emphasize on filter, okay, because uh, usually it takes about, what, less than, you know, less than a minute to grind a uh, 15 to 20 gram, okay. With the espresso, you are looking at, man, a uh, minute, two minutes, uh, depend on the roasting level. So, uh, Dave said the Petro doesn't look so expensive anymore. I mean, that's correct, Dave. It's all, it's all relative, all right. It's all relative. Comes to grinders. I mean, if you are looking at the low end grinder to high end grinder, yes, it is expensive. But once you get into high end range, Ata Piatro was uh, ridiculous. And uh, talking to Josh after that, if you are looking at C60, oh man, that's so expensive. Uh, 600 bucks, that's, that's kind of like starting point. We have no idea what the final price is going to be. Could be seven. Uh, uh, if you are buying from other countries, right, you have to pay their value added tax there as well. And we are looking at, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars for just, just for the hand grinder. Okay. So, uh, Angelo is using the timer chestnut X lights at the moment. Have you a chance to test that? Uh, besides this. Okay. So, uh, Angelo is talking about the chestnut X lights. Okay. Uh, yes, I do have a Timer Chestnut X Lite. Uh, uh, I did test this grinder as well. The reason why it's not on the list, because it's a, a far little short, okay? This is also a fantastic hand grinder. Uh, X Lite is great. But I feel like it comes to taste-wise, uh, it does a really good job on espresso. Okay, I mean, it does. I mean, all of them does a great job on espresso. comes to filter-wise, it's not as clean. 
as a K plus or Commandante. So that's why this thing is not on the list. Okay, but again, this is also fantastic grinder as well. Uh, it's around uh, $200 range as well. So all this grinder, you're looking at around 200 it is ridiculous uh, comes to hand grinder, okay? Because gnome core, you are sitting at like 50, 60, 70 dollar dollar range there as well. Easy presso, uh, between 70 and 100 dollar range. X Pro, you are looking at 150. So, it's again, uh, if you're, you you need willing to spend about 100 bucks on decent hand grinder, okay? If you want to spend less than 100. Uh, you have an option for that as well, but if you're looking for that clarity in coffee, uh, you, you got to spend a little more. Okay, you got to spend a little more, more there. All right, so meantime, let's brew some coffee, and then I'm going to have Sal help me with some coffee this morning. Uh, it's got a very simple setup. Uh, we are going to compare a couple of hand grinders here. I'm going to be using the V60. And then let's see here. Hold on a second. Yeah, we have a, a uh, we have a Sav Salvador. Uh, I think Mischief M40 is scary to scary to coming up with CMD level tier. Cheaper. Cheaper what? Cheaper than what? Two. Okay. So if you don't know what Mischief is, Mischief M40. You know what that is, Mischief? Okay, uh, check it out, guys. The Mischief is the website that they makes uh, copies, the clone of uh, very fancy, the high-end grinders. Okay, so that's what they do. All right, they, but I don't know how much they exactly copy their birds. It's all about the birds. Okay, uh, you cannot buy from Amazon. That's for sure. You have to buy from their websites. So yeah, uh, a lot of controversy brewing. Okay. But uh, if you have it, M40, let me know, okay? Uh, I mean, ideally you have both, right? You have the Commandante and then you have the M40. So you can, you can do side by side comparison. But yeah, I mean, you know, love to hear your thoughts on it because it sounds very interesting. Because I know for a fact they are not that expensive, okay? I know for a fact, yeah, they're pretty affordable. Okay, so this morning test, uh, let's start with uh, K plus and Commandante. Okay, uh, let's go 14 gram dose. All right, let's do 14. Uh, it comes to coffee options. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Comes to coffee. Let's go with. Man, that's the tough choice. You know what? Uh, let's do this. I have a nice natural coffee here from Good Brothers, uh, Colombia Finca La Flores. Yeah, I've been using it for the last few days. It's been very pleasant. So let's grind that. I'm, I'm going to have Sal help me with this. Okay. So let's do what? 14? 14 gram? Yeah, let's do 14 gram. Okay. So we're going to go 14 gram there. Okay, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. We, uh, we got a few people watching. Okay. Uh, if you're a first timer, let me know. Uh, let me know in the live chat. All right. So let's acknowledge you. You are here. Let's say Brandon. Say hello there. Yeah. And the, I might ask me about. The, do you like the norm core? Yeah, norm core hand grinders are fine for what it is. Okay. But if you are looking for something special, yeah. I mean, you got. I mean, you have to willing to spend some money on it. I mean, that's the great thing about. Uh, that's downside of coffee as your hobby. You know, I mean, you got to really, yeah, you, you have to willing to spend time, okay, especially time, all right, and time and some little bit of money as well. All right, so why don't you grind with uh, Commandante. I'm going to be using my K+, plus. okay, and then uh, let's find out how long it's going to take to grind 14 grams, okay, I got my timer here. So it comes to grind setting, I'm at 5.5, uh, 6.5 actually. 
A 6.5, I think. A little funny. You know, no, no, no. That's K plus. K plus. This is K plus. Yeah. yeah. This is K plus. Not the JP6. Okay. So I got 14 gram here. Ready, set, go. So uh, we are going to compare the Commandante and K plus first. Okay. All right. Again, if you are thinking about doing it as an espresso, as a hand grinder, I mean, unless if you love making coffee, if you don't mind the work, sure, but it is a lot of work, okay? It is a lot of work. I'm done. Less than 30 seconds. Okay. I'm going to shout out to Greg for first timer. Yeah. You're still going? Almost done? Done. Yeah. done. 40 seconds. So K plus is a lot easier. Okay. I'm going to tell you why they are a lot easier. Can you hand me the handle? Oh, yeah. yeah. If you see the handle, it's the Commandante versus K+. K+, is longer, as you can see from there, so it's giving you more leverage. So C60 is about the same size as the uh, K+, or GP6. Okay. I think it's about this size. The shorter, and the, you can actually buy Commandante, you can buy longer. And you have to pay extra for that, okay? So, Commandante is doing the smart thing there. So they want you to buy everything separately. And I'm gonna be brewing, ah, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna brew uh, both copy at the same time. I'm gonna give it to Sal. And then I'm gonna be doing V60. Okay, V60 with, uh, let's do a minute blooming. You, you like the minute or two minutes? Yeah. So we're going to do a minute blooming and then we're going to go all the way to the top. Uh, maybe 1 to 16 ratio as well. Let's do 1 to 16. Comes to ratio wise, 1 to 15, 1 to 16. So yeah, it, it all depends. And there's, uh, again, Commandante. You can buy the, it's called Red Clicks as well. What Red Clicks does is cut, uh, the one click cut that in half. So instead, instead of 1 to 2, the red clicks one, 1 1.5, and two. And also, there's extra too, okay? Also, there's extra as well. So, uh, Dave asked me, have you tried a rock grinder? Yes, I have a rock grinder right sitting right over there as well. So, again, uh, we, are talking about, we are talking about the best hand grinder for the filter, all right? Uh, rock does great job, but comes to clarity. Uh, it's a sh little shy, okay, a little shy of you know, K plus or Commandante or, you know, GP6. So that's the reason why it's not on the list this morning. So I'm trying to share with you the, the best out there in current market. Comes to clarity, okay? So meantime, let's brew some coffee here. Flip the camera for a second. If you're joining us, we have a young Sar is joining us. Uh, let's talk about the water quality. I'm using the water. Uh, I start with a zero TDS, and then I just add a third wave water, okay, for the consistency of our water for the this morning's test. Okay. So let's go to one to sixteen ratio. All right, here we go. Okay. So let's go Commandante here. Uh, it's been already washed. Uh, I already washed the paper. So 224 gram, 225, okay. Based on the calculator there, 1 to 16, 225. So that's what we're going to do. K plus going. Uh, K plus, magnetic. Obviously, uh, Commandante is a screw top. All right. I'm going to wait for the water is... Uh, Brew. 
up to the temperature. Again, if you are joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Uh, Braxton say, picture of Virgin 2 would be awesome. Goodness. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd be very interesting, Virgin 2. I hope they're going to wait at least a couple of years to come out there. Can you imagine if you're going to revise now? People just spent $500 on Grinder. Yeah, I think they might just uh, add, the, add a base for it. Sure. I don't think they'll make new burrs for a while. Probably not. Okay, here we go, folks. I'm just going to start with 50 grand first. I'm just going to go aggressive. Okay. And I'm going to wait about a minute. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Someone asked. Yeah, this white one lo looks like it's ceramic, but it's the pl plastic yeah. one. It's all plastic. Yeah, I have a ceramic one at home. I wish I had a plastic one. Got to preheat the ceramic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna wait about a minute, and after that, I'm gonna go all the way to 225. So as consistency. I'm trying to go simple as possible, as brewing. Again, so we are comparing uh, K plus here versus GP6. No, I'm sorry, not Commandante. Okay, uh, using the natural coffee from Colombia. Just gonna go aggressive to twenty five. So, can you do the? Yeah. Two twenty five. Okay, Sarah is working on it right now. Keep going. 225, 220, close. There we go, a little more. A little more. That's good, that's good. Okay. So we are doing the two cups here. I'm trying, brew time should be around just above two minutes. That's what I'm shooting for. Just above two minutes. Jesse said, coffee grinders that turn into new uh, new electronics, you always have FOMO and yep. upgrade itis. Yep. Yeah, I like to, I did some research and found the ZP6. I bought it. That's all I have. Mainly use V60 and, yep. you know, so two good cups. 221 for the Commandante here. We have a G, a K Plus. Man, okay, so we are very close. Uh, I think we got lucky on that time here. Right now we are 217. Yeah, I think this is good. I think this is pretty good comparison. Yeah, we did a little bit of guessing. Yeah, a little bit of guessing, 224, uh, 221. So it comes to time-wise, this is great. Okay, I'm very happy with it. I'm going to send Sal out to the hallway. Okay, I'm going to do some blind tasting here with the sal. Okay. Okay, and then before uh, I'm going to have them in, I'm going to show you the two different, okay, about the same time, right? Uh, K plus has a lot more fines, as you can see. Then Commandante has a less fines. So, so that's, uh, that's you, you can usually tell by the, uh, the saturation of the grinds. Okay, so come on in. So we are comparing Commandante versus a K plus. Try to cool them down a bit. Mm -hmm. 
So we are watching Sal is doing the blind tasting here. I'm gonna have us uh, take the mic. All right. We'll do one more run through the coffees. At first, I liked this one better, at like right as they were hot, but I think I like uh, I think I like this one a little bit more as it's starting to cool down. They're relatively, um, they're a little closer than I would have thought. I think. Um, I think this one has a touch more bitterness. Maybe it's this one is not as cl uh, as clear. Uh, I think. Yeah, I would say this one is a bit more like um, a bit m less bright, a little less vibrant. I feel like this one would lean more on the chocolatier side, if if I were to say, versus this one is definitely more like vibrant and bright, and definitely brings out all of the fruity, juicy qualities in this one here. So, so you gonna go with that? Yeah. So Sal pick out the Comandante for this round. Okay. So Comandante is uh, for the win, for the uh, natural coffee this morning. Okay. Natural coffee with V60. Again, folks, so this is just the one test. Okay. Just the one test here. All right. So, so Comandante shines on this round. Uh, I feel like Comandante give you that more clarity, more juicy, uh, Juiciness, okay, for sure. So this is a Comandante right here. If I'm gonna taste this, it's definitely give you a lot more cleaner taste. Okay, then uh, with the K plus, a little bit more fines, okay. So that's why I give you more texture, more body, but a little bit of muddiness. I mean that's the, that's the reason why I, earlier I showed you has the the grind quality. You know after that the bed was a little bit more a little muddier than uh, uh, Commandante, okay? So, so for this coffee, I definitely give it to Commandante for sure. Uh, also shout out to Michael for the first time in live session as well. You got a few people watching this morning. So I feel like this uh, kind of like conical type uh, of hand grinder, really, I feel like it shines a little more than, okay? I mean, obviously the brewer, is also make a difference as well, but a little more shines than uh, kind of like the flat, more clarity. So anyway, but uh, overall usability takes what? 30 seconds to grind 14 gram compared to 40, 40 seconds for the Commandante. Commandante, you have to put what uh, extra work into it, but comes to resort wise, I think it's worth it. Okay, so. And I think, uh... We did a test with the ZP6 versus K Plus not that long ago. And I think, I don't know if it was the same coffee, but it was a, a, a natural processed coffee. And uh, even against ZP6, we preferred the K Plus mm -hmm. in that test. So it seems very dependent on, on the coffee you're working with, and I think. Okay, for this round, uh, we're going to go against GP6 versus the Pitra. Okay, so this is the big one. 
So GP6 versus the Petra. And the winners goes to go against Commandante. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. All right. So this time I'm gonna change the coffee, okay? Because uh, this GP6 and Petra, they really shines when the coffee is really, really clean. Kind of like a uh, wash coffee, okay? So I have a brand new bag of Say Coffee here. All right, so this is the brand new bag of Say Coffee. So this is a uh, uh, wash coffee from Ethiopia. Oh uh, gosh, check out the tasting note, guys. Floor, intoxicating floor, floor. Watermelon, peach. Peach is one of my favorite tasting notes, okay? And then a lively citrus acidity. Okay. okay. Sounds exciting. That sounds very, very good. Okay. This is, it's going to be uh, roasted on August 7th. Uh, it's about three weeks out. So Say is known for their light, light roast. That really shines after two weeks. You got to rest minimum two weeks for this. Minimum. Okay. Ideally three to four weeks. Okay. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay. Uh, it's going to be GP6. And then, oh, no, you're going to do the pitcher. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have a grind the pitcher. Okay, that's more work. So, so we're going to be doing, so it should be fun. Uh, it should be a really good comparison. Okay. It's a really good comparison there, so. Again, so this is the brand new bag. Okay, I have not opened this. We are open it for the first time right now. Uh, look like Jesse already uh, finished his bag already. Yep, so, I mean, uh, I'm doing the subscription from Say every month. So I got a, a one bag per month plan. Okay. I mean, the smell is okay. Here go. Just get the, let's get the 14 gram out. Okay, so we're gonna get the get the session going here. I mean, that's the reason why I have a lot of stuff in my shop here, my coffee desk. Whenever I do the comparison, man, I need a multiple. How's the smell? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's not as much of a fruity punch in the face as the you yep. know, more processed yep. coffees, but it's very uh, complex. Okay. I'm just gonna get wash some coffee. Get the make sure wash your paper before you guys make coffee. Subscription, did you say? Uh, it's say S E Y. Yep. Uh, they're from New York. The Brooklyn coffee roaster. Yeah, that's the that's the Brooklyn based coffee roaster. I mean, uh, they're really good, by the way. I mean, they're fantastic. Uh, so that is uh, one of my. If you are into wash coffee, uh, they're one of the best. Is a good here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So comes the grinder size. I set at three point five on my GP six, and then for that one at eight. Okay. I'm gonna time this right now. Are you ready? Get set. Go. We are doing the 14 gram dose this morning. I 
I'm at around 30 seconds, okay? Like K plus GP6, usually around 30 seconds. Uh, 40 seconds for the Piatra. Okay. All right. How's that smell? Yeah, right now, mm -hmm. I'm not quite getting the watermelon, but I'm definitely getting some yeah, florals and some peach. Okay. Sarah's definitely better nose than I am. I cannot grab the peach here, but I'm, I hope so. Hold on, let me see. Yes. Man, it's going to be a tough test. Yeah. Oh. Should be a good coffee and two great grinders. Mm hmm. All right, here we go. Comes to retention, there's no whole lot of retention for these grinders. That does a really great job. So we're gonna do the exact same process. So about start with like 50 grams of uh, coffee uh, water into it, and then we just go from there. And then we're gonna go minute wait. I'm gonna stir it. Let's give you guys the front seat view. Run away about a minute or so. There's a lot of different recipes out there, but I do enjoy this recipe here. It's just simply that just the easy. Give it a good stir. So we are using the Piatra with the Probers, okay? The Prober is known for the, the uh, filter brewing. So that's the design by uh, the lens, uh, Hedrick, uh, recently. Okay, so right now we are at one minute. I'm gonna go all the way up to 224. Just gonna clean up the side here. Just nice and gentle flow. 224. Yeah. Another gentle swerve. Go oh, with two twenty. Let's go to twenty six on this one. Keep it going. Getting close. There we go. That's good. Uh, I'm hoping we're going to get about the same time. So that's what we are hoping for. Okay. So this one here, we are looking at two minutes. Yeah, 218 right now. Two thirty. Seems like we have some little clogging there, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, it comes to brew time. I mean, I know some people like around like two and a half minutes. I know some people like three and a half minutes. So as long as if I get you know around bit under like between 2.30 and 3.30, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay. So right now I'm just pushing three minute mark here. We are at 3.06, 3.10. Yeah, so this is considered, you know, as a pretty good brew. Get three, 
12 right now yeah 315 so this is a good time okay for this one so this is a pitch up this is a GP6 we are at 303 it's gonna be close as you can see all right as you can see we are getting close to the end as well so that's good I think we are about the similar time okay very similar 320 right now yeah 330 it's gonna be you are looking at what 330 for the Buddha time on this one slightly longer I'm okay with that okay but as you can see, it's a little bit more muddier than GP6. You see that? I'm sorry. So this is GP6, a little bit more muddier. Uh, compared to Petro. Okay, so it's going to be interesting. So I want to go outside for a second. I'm going to have a cell outside. So this is the Petro. GP6 Okay, sir. So I'm going to have a sale. Let us know which one he prefers. So So this is a wash coffee, folks. This is a wash coffee from Say, the Ethiopia. I'm just gonna smell it. Okay. All right. Hmm. Oops. Cheers, everybody. Very clean, tasty. Uh, let's see. Here. It comes to uh, Joris asking about the GP. Uh, what number? Uh, number eight. Yeah. yeah. It's number eight on the Petro. Okay. So this is a uh, Petro coffee. Man. Okay. Let's go back to. GP6. I mean, this is kind of like fun about uh, comparing. So here's the thing. You only have one grinder at home, most likely. So for you, it does not make any difference. Okay. You know, I mean, you are making coffee every single morning. But, but, but once you start comparing side by side, uh, you are going to tell the difference. So what's the point of this, right? What, what is the point since you only have one grinder? But if you are thinking about buying a new grinder down the road, okay, if you want something more cleaner cup, and then definitely this video helps. Okay. All right. No, I'm ready. Oh, so Sal is ready. Goodness. Go ahead, Sal. Yeah, I was expecting it to be, it, it is tough, but I was expecting it to be a little, take me a little longer, but I prefer this one that was on this side. Okay. Um, this one to me, Tasted like a, a little bit muddier, okay. just very very small. Uh, okay. Not as like the last test was uh, what was it, Comandante and yeah. K plus. It wasn't as big of a difference there. Like K plus was a lot more muddy. I think this cup here was just slightly more okay. muddy. Um, I think at the end there's a slight drying okay. uh, feeling in your mouth. This one was just I felt like a lot more round, a lot okay. smoother. Okay. Uh, a little more vibrant, you know, nothing, no drying, nothing stood out to me that was yeah. off or, you know, that could, nothing stood out that could be better in this cup. I thought it was a good, good, good brew, yeah. Good brew. So, again, I, I think I have to concur with Sal there. So, GP's uh, uh, Petro is a little bit more cleaner and more, I feel like more cleaner, more, yeah, 
So yeah, that's my guess. This one is, uh, is Yeah. So, so uh, Ms. Sarah Picata, Petro, obviously, Petro is a lot more cleaner, as you saw, on the grind quality as well. So this is the GP6 versus Petro. So it'd be interesting to go against, right, at this point, go against uh, Comandante versus Petro, all right? Comandante versus Petro. So... It should be very, very interesting. All right, very interesting. So that's what we're gonna do uh, next round, okay? That's what we're gonna do next round. But meantime, someone asked me about uh, the Ever SG1. Uh, you mean HG1? I, I, I think uh, you are talking about the HG1. The HG1 grinder from uh, Weber, okay? And uh, by the way, they are $1,500 hand grinder, so. Uh, I'm gonna take that one out, okay? I'm gonna take that one out from the our, our competition here, comparison, because if you're spending $1,500 on hand grinder, that's, I think you passed that limit. So yeah, we are talking about the hand grinder. Uh, HG1 is great, don't get me wrong, I did play with HG1 before. Uh, uh, they're 83 millimeter conical, large, large conical there. Uh, they're, um, they're good. Don't get me wrong, okay? But I did play with it in past. What uh, what burr is that HG1? Uh, HG1 is a mother burr. Yeah, that's the mother burr. So, I mean, again, the mother makes great one. I mean, great burrs that last forever. Yeah. So, I'm going to, you know, let's try one more time here. Here we go. So, this is the... Uh, again, the Sarah Picata uh, Petro, all right? I'm curious because I think the next test d depends a little bit on the coffee we use. I think if we use a naturally processed, it gives Comandante more of a fighting chance. Fighting chance. I mean, Watch here, coffee, I think it'll be clear, but that's my guess. I mean, so here's the thing about uh, a, a coffee and the which, which brewing method. The which brewing method matters too, okay? If you're looking for cleanest cup as possible, I'm talking about cleanest combination. Okay, I think I go with a nice flapper like Petro, and then uh, go with nice uh, flat bottom brewer as well. Okay, nice flat bottom brewer. So, uh, and then we have uh, somebody talking about the. Uh, I'm talking about the stone grinder from uh, Weber. I think I, I I bet you watched the. Uh, uh, I think I bet you watched the uh, Lance one of Lance's video. Okay, the one of uh, Lance's video there. So, I mean, there was, uh, he was joking about that grinder. But, all right, so we have about, about a few people watching at the moment. Uh, I'm glad you guys are here this morning. Hold on a second here. And uh, we have Rosa, just my own opinion. I prefer to use GP6 at around five to get uh, no fun. Oh, hold on. So right now I'm at 3.5, okay. Yeah, I tend to do my, uh, sometimes I do longer blooms or like up to two minute blooms sometimes. Yeah. But I'll normally do like, yeah, between five and six. I mean, if you go to five or six, I think uh, Rosa has, uh, has a good point as well. So obviously for higher the grind setting, it's gonna be lower the fine, okay. So, I mean, if I'm gonna change down to five, right? A lower the fine, it's gonna be give you better tasting cup? I think so too, okay, for sure. But same time, comes to clarity wise, I mean, it's hard to beat a flat, okay? It's hard to beat flat birds, so. Yeah, so that's not, again, so that's why this comparing test is so hard, okay? Because we are talking about the one time, all right? What, it's kind of snap snapshot of this test, right? I bet you if I'm gonna go with let's say a 5.5, okay, it's gonna be uh, remove the bitterness for sure. It's gonna come close to Petro, okay. You know we don't know until we actually tried it, okay. And then and in in the is there a Ryan say you do not uh, tap the cup as well, but. 
It doesn't have a whole lot of fines anyway, even if they tap it. I mean, that's not much fine. So, I mean, I'm not too worried about that, okay? I'm not too worried about those fines. But, I mean, if I go change to number five on the GP6, man, he got me thinking there. You know, he got me really thinking. Yeah, it's interesting with my experience with uh, ZP6, like, yeah, if you do 3.5, like, we got a pretty good brew, like, 330. Um, but sometimes if you go coarser, you can you can get the same time brew still. You know what? Here, you know what? Let's, let's give a GP6 a fighting chance here, okay? So we're going to brew one more time on this. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Can you measure out 18, uh, 14 grams for me? So we're going to do one more time, okay? All right? So we're going to go with the Rosa. Let's give a deal over for GP6 right now. GP6 is about 200 bucks, okay, $200. And then obviously, Petro is about, you're looking at 475 okay, uh, depending on the which website you go. I think if you go to 8 ounce coffee right now, you can get one for 450 If you don't know what 8 ounce is, but I'm, I'm going to put the 8 ounce as well, comes to link wise. So I'm going to put down the link too, okay. It all depends on the which website you go to. But so this uh, this uh, Petro I got from uh, Espresso Parts from US. Okay, shout out to Kevin. Big shout out to Kevin there. All right. So having said that, we're gonna give brew one more chance to GP6. Okay, I'm using the third wave water here, folks. Can you feel that one? Let's go. All right. So we're going to give fighting chance to... Which one's which? Hmm? I'm trying to... Oh, no, GP6. I'm going to try to remember this. Or that's the part. Petro. Yeah. GP6. All here. So we're gonna we're gonna brew one more time with GP6 uh, grinder for me. Uh, we're gonna set at 5.5. Okay, uh, I mean I do want to lower the uh, grind si uh, fines. We are we are going to give the GP6 a fighting chance here. Can I get the handle? Yeah. There you go. The one asking me, you should do 2023 best grinder for the espresso. Uh, uh, definitely not, guys. It's not worth it. Okay, hand grinder too, for espresso. Too hard, especially I mean, yeah. all these tests. I mean, that, work. yeah, way too much work. I mean, it's not, one, it's not worth it. All right. Sounds great, but not practical. It's definitely less fine. I know some people actually remove the shaft, shaft there as well, but you know what? I mean, I did test on it. It's hard to tell. So. Yeah, I do it sometimes if there's a lot, but I, I haven't tried it side by side. No. So, so it might not make that big a difference. Uh, Steve said number five, we will be much better cup. Yeah, let's find out. Okay, so we do have a original cup right here from GP6. And then what my water temp set at 94 Celsius. All right, so water is ready. So we're gonna start with about 50 gram, okay. And 
I'm going to wait about a minute or so. Okay, we're going to wait up. We're going to wait about a minute. And then we're going to go all the way up to about 225. Okay, so that's what we're going to brew. I'm going to have a sour finish it. And we're going to wait about a minute or so, and then we're going to brew. So we, we, we changed from 3.5 to 5, uh, trying to lower the, uh, the fines there as well. So we'll see. Uh, we're going to get a better cup than the other one. It's going to be more cleaner because there are less fines. But it's going to be as good as the uh, Petro. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. okay getting close there. So th this is the Petro earlier. I'm just going to try this and remember the... Okay. Go ahead, Sam. You're going to go all the way up to 225. Yeah. I was hoping to get out of the peach and watermelon, but again, uh, comes to wash coffee, even though tasting those say peach, watermelon, and flour. I think it works. That's good. That, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Right. Slightly over. Hold on. Hold on here. Remind me. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. The Braxton uh, Braxton say I'm tasting out the Orca hand grinders at home. Orca. Is that the one uh, cafe thing? Yeah, I think that cafe thing goes for. Yeah. Uh, uh, we did that last weekend. Okay, we did that last weekend for testing done. So, I mean, the ghost birds are pretty clean as well. I was pretty, uh, pleasantly surprised. Okay, that's nice bird. That's nice bird there. Uh, Angela said, you could increase the uh, uh, nine, uh, again. So we are in, uh, I'm in Tucson. The boiling temperature is at 96. Celsius in Tucson, all right? So 96 because the altitude here. So uh, unfortunately, I cannot push 98 to 100. Uh, if you're in sea level, yes. But in Tucson, boiling temp at uh, around 96 to 97. Um, but um, if you are up in, uh, up in the mountain, their boiling temperature at like 92, 93. So it's different. It's, I mean, that's completely different where you are as well. I mean, altitude does make a big difference. So, uh, Brockton said, Cafe Sing, the Ghost Birds. Uh, that's, that is also interesting uh, grinder. Uh, we have uh, Abes, Sina, say K Plus is the best. I mean, the K Plus overall, I mean, they're fantastic, fantastic. Can't go wrong with it, guys. Okay, I mean, any of them here at the, we are showcasing this morning, you know, any grinders are great. Okay, so if you have it, enjoy it. All right, uh, definitely less fine than before. Okay, about three minutes and 40 seconds here. Yeah, we went almost two full numbers up. Yep. And the brew time was longer, mm -hmm. or the same, right? Yeah, that's, as you think, you go coarser, uh, it's gonna okay. make a faster brew time, but. No, it all depends. Okay, here we go, cheers guys. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm, I still like the. I still like the Petro. What do you think? I still like the Petro, uh, but I do think it brought it closer. Yeah. In my opinion, let me try the old one. Mm. I, I think I'm gonna cool down for a little bit, but I think yeah, I think the Petro has more clarity there, as well. Yeah. But again, I mean, so here's the thing, guys. The only reason I can tell you because we are doing a side by side test. That's it. That's the only reason. All right. So if you only have one grinder at home, I mean, I mean, again, you are doing just fine. Okay. So 
So, I mean, don't, don't think about getting another grinder because uh, you watch my video. I mean, that's not the point. Because the only reason, because we are doing the side-by-side -side there. And then we have, you know, it's a good clean cup of coffee. Okay, not as uh, muddy as uh, uh, the grind size 3.5. It's more cleaner. So, yeah. Yeah, I think if it was still side-by-side, -side, like blind, I think it would be a little harder, uh, but I think I would still pick out the mm -hmm. intro. And, but again, so I think it'd be a fun comparison to try with uh, Comandante and Pitcher for sure. Uh, so here's what we're going to do, okay? Uh, and I need to clean this place up a little, actually. And then we need, you know what? Uh, we just go, okay? We, we just going to make another cup here. Uh, final round, Pitro versus. But here's a bigger question, okay? Which brewing method for the final round, okay? We're going to still stick with the V60, okay? So if that's the case, let's stick with it, okay? And then which wine size, right? So Commandante, I'm, I'm at like 22 clicks right now, okay? Pitro, okay, so at, we are eight, all right? And at this point, we're going to go with which coffee? We're going to go with the washed coffee? We're going to go with natural coffee? Is also a decision we have to make. I'm not quite sure right now. And uh, Let's see here. I mean, Rosa is mentioned. Yeah, I mean, the price difference, right? We are talking about $200 grinder from GP6 versus $500 grinder from Petro. I mean, that's huge difference there. That's a big difference. So, I mean, I mean, that's something to think about. Okay, that's something to think about. George said natural coffee. I think, I, I think so too. I think we should go with the natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we know, okay, comes to watch coffee, you cannot beat Petro. Okay, my, my, for my taste earlier, yeah. So yeah, so la let's go with the uh, uh, natural coffee. Uh, Jory said, personally, I prefer Petro over C40 even with natural. Okay, so let's find out. Okay, let's find out with the natural because washed coffee cannot beat Petro. All right, I did a lot of tests with it, various grinders. Uh, comes to washed coffee, I'm, I'm talking about clean coffee, right? Ethiopia coffee, you know, it's really clean cup. Yes. So, having said that, with a flat bottom, brewer give you that more cleaner tasting cup as well. Okay, so nice flat width, a nice flat bottom brewer give you, I, I feel like they give you the perfect combination for the, the cleanest cup. Okay, the V60 give you more, uh, kind of like, more body to it, more acidic. Okay, not, not the acidic, the more body to it, more complexity, let's put it that way. But with the natural coffee, yeah, I think it'd be interesting. Right, so let's go with the exact same setup. V60, natural coffee, Comandante versus Petro. Okay. Okay, let's do 14 grams each. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, it should be, should be fun there. And there comes the grind size, Petro at eight. Comandante, we are looking at 22 clicks. Yeah, I know someone said, uh, like with the Say Coffee, doing like 98, 100 degrees. Uh, I don't know if you have, Poon, but I recommend people trying, even with like, I've had it with really light roast, and I've done like 90 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. yep. Um, and sometimes with some coffees, I prefer that even if it's like 97 boiling here versus 90 degrees, uh, I'll prefer 90 degrees sometimes. Even though, you know, we've been told forever, you know, the hotter it is better. Yeah, better.
All right, we are in the final round here, folks. Final round. So we're gonna get ready for the final round. So we're gonna go uh, Comandante versus GP6. And then we are using the V60 method. Should be interesting. All right, here I go, folks. Uh, we are using the 14 gram. They look like Vince has been using the Petro with April. I mean, that is a good combination, Vince. Yeah. That's a nice flat with a nice flat bottom paper. Yeah. Why don't you start growing the coffee spurs? See? Still going. Yeah, let me finish that. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So Sarah is going to finish off the pitch row here. Still going. So Sar is uh, busy. The reason why we choose the V60 because I mean this is the widely, wi uh, you know, available in the world, so we don't have to worry about buying a special brewer for this. So I feel like give us the pretty good comparison. We're gonna start with 95, uh, about 50 gram dose. Shakes a little bit. Do the same thing as well. 50 gram. We're just gonna wait. They are saturated well. And then we're gonna go all the way up to 220. Kind of 1 to 16 ratio. Okay, so what, I'm at minute. Shall we go a minute and a half today? 
Sure. You know, let's go a minute and a half, okay? Why not? Well, let's go. You're going to go to... I know people like to do minutes. I know some people like to do minute and a half. Yeah, let's go minute and 15. Okay, minute and 15. All the way up to 220. Sorry, get ready for that. We're going to go to 220. Twenty, getting close. Watch it. A little more. A little more. That's good. minute and let's see a minute and about 22 seconds 20, 224 for the commandante Petro we are at minute and 12 18 man it's gonna be close as well okay it's going to be very close Wow 226 as you can see. I mean, they're both, you know what, uh, let me show you, okay, let me show you the, the grind size, the quality wise, hold on, let's flip the camera. So this, so this is the picture, okay, not a whole lot of fines, uh, you look like the grind size are, you know, uniform, so the Commandante. Okay, so I want you to go outside for a second here. I'm going to send Sal to the lobby area. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to switch this time. Okay. All right, Sal, come on back here. So here's a big moment. So uh, this is the final round. Petro versus Commandante. Okay. Cheers, everybody. Here, cheers. Okay. Okay. It's a nice cup, both so far. Oh. Wow. Okay. So Sarah is uh, thinking right now. Uh, Angelo say, agree with Aurea comments, pair with the Sibers paper. One can grind finer with ease. Yes, Sibers paper is extremely fast, as you know, which means you can go uh, grind size even finer in, in results bring out more extraction but you got to be careful though okay make sure you got to be careful because you don't want to be too fine so you don't want to muddy up the uh, cup but service paper really does really good job so yeah so I mean that is a nice setup there as well I mean that is a I mean I mean if you want to drink some really really nice high-end cup if you want to use the best uh, equipment's out there, you know, Sibers paper, nice flat bottom brewer like uh, Oreo's nice, yeah. Have you decided? Oh wow, that was quick. Hold on a second, I'm gonna pass it on to Sal. Okay, All go right. ahead. My, the one I prefer is gonna be uh, this one here. Okay. Um, this one is, well I think this one, the one I prefer is sweeter. Uh, smoother, okay. more round. This one has some more bitterness 
Uh, the acidity is slightly harsher. Like it just kind of hits your palate in the wrong way a little bit. And some astringency for sure. And I think th this one's definitely a little more muddy as well. This one, pretty high clarity. Wow. You know, more sweetness, more more vibrant, I think. So my guess would be, if I'm right, I think this one is the Pietro here. I, I, I think I do have to concur with uh, Sal as well. So when coffee is high, it's very hard to tell, okay? Yeah. When coffee is high, but once coffee is a little cool down a little bit, okay? So this is the uh, Pietro, okay? If I taste this cup here, uh, it's definitely more clear as well, cleaner, uh, juicier. I'm very, I'm, I'm very surprised because I, I think I like to give an edge to special and naturally processed coffee. But having said that, with uh, the cone-shaped brewer, make that. Yeah, again, so it's all about the, it's all about the different combination. All right. So I mean, hopefully this video uh, kind of like give you some, you know the give you some little light on you know which grinder you should get next so i mean if you're looking for something clearly something really clean balanced cup of coffee i mean the petro is out there and the petro is really nice grinder but i mean commandante or gp6 or k plus it's not that far off okay we but we are talking about side by side test side by side test I mean if you have one grinder at home you cannot tell the difference folks okay the only reason we can tell it because we we set them up identically okay and then we can tell subtle nuance all right so I mean again I hope this video helps so if you are thinking about buying Petro because if you're looking for something more cleaner clear cup man it's going to be hard to tell, okay? I mean, if you, if you already have a GP6 or if you already have Commandante or K+, going upgrade to Petro is it's going to be a tough sell, okay? Because you already have a good grinder. Uh, any thoughts on that, Sal? Hold on. Yeah, I have a, a ZP6 at home and, uh, you know, I don't think personally for me, I do prefer the Pietro over the ZP6 and most of the tests we've done. Um, but, you know, it's not much. To me, it's not worth paying, you know, 350 bucks more on top of the ZP6. You know, maybe if I uh, had a little bit more money and I didn't have the ZP6, maybe I would go for the Pietro. But I definitely, you know, if you just have one grinder at home, you know, since we're not doing side by side, I think you can get great cups and and dial in with your own grinder and setup and get great coffee either way. I mean, but again, I mean, if you if your cup is not as cleaner, uh, just go coarser size, right? If you go coarser size, give you that more cleaner cup. So you don't have to get a grinder for, uh, you know, grinder for the, the cup quality you're looking for. You can always change the water quality, okay? Change the water quality, even paper, Okay, grind size, even play with the water temperature as well to bring out the new ones. Okay, so you don't have to get a new grinder for it. But again, but if you want to get a grinder, okay, if you want, if you have a boatload of money at home, right? If you have a money that you, you want to burn, okay, and that you want the cleanest hand grinder out there, all right. Okay, go with the Petra. Okay, I, I feel comfortable to say this grinder give you a very, very cleaner cup, okay? All right, but if you don't want to spend too much money, okay, now you have options, right? You can go to GP6, 200 bucks. You can go to GP6 for 200, okay? And uh, you can go with the K Plus or K Ultra, about the same price there, about 250. K, K Ultra does an amazing job for both espresso and filter, okay? This is one trick pony. Uh, this one only does the filter, that's it. You do not use as uh, express grinder, okay, or should you, all right? But with the Commandante, it does great job. It's like over 300 bucks. 
All right. So I mean, if I were you, I mean, between Commandante versus like you know K plus or GP six, I go with the K plus or GP six because they're cheaper. Okay. Cup quality very very similar. Depend on the coffee, Commandante may better for that coffee. K plus may be better in that coffee, even GP six. So it all depends on what you are looking for. But there's no one grinder for the the one grinder gives you that everything. Okay, so that you know that's the thing. All right, uh, I'm at say please uh, O Gen two versus. I think we've done that before, Ahmed. I, I think we compared with O Gen 2 versus Petro last week already. And uh, let's see here, MP verse. Uh, we haven't done the MP yet. So we got to do the MP versus uh, the 64mm MP versus the Petro EB Fun. But we did compare with Petro with a 98mm SSP. Uh, yes. So we've done it before. Ibis 98 give you a lot more clarity, but yeah, uh, let's go to MP next time. Okay, all right. Okay, let's see here. Joseph, fun to have a novice tasting with you. Okay. You know what? I mean, I don't think such thing as I mean, you guys are perfect. I mean, if you are watching my channel, okay, you guys are already in the rabbit hole. Copy rab a rabbit hole here, folks. Okay, so you guys definitely not a novice. Okay, I have to agree. You guys are not a novice. Uh, Peter Pan say, yeah, I mean, Petro is not, you, you cannot put on the, this thing is heavy. All right? This thing is heavy. Okay? So, I mean, don't. I mean, do not. Uh, Greg asks, do you have the Brew SS, uh, 64 SSP? I don't think there's no such thing as a SSP for Brew. Okay? You mean MP verse? Uh, I think I have MP. And then, I'm not sure they're version 1 or version 2. Uh, talking about SSP, 64 millimeter, the name is out of control. Okay, I cannot keep track of it. They have a lot of birds out there, so. Um, but uh, I do like the cast bird, though. Man, we haven't done the cast birds yet. So next time, we're going to compare MP, cast, and Petro. Okay. Uh, should be a lot of fun, uh, fun comparison too. Oh yeah, I mean that should be good. Man, can you imagine if a Petro beat out uh, every 64 millimeter grinder? That's impressive. Okay, well, so so that's what we're gonna uh, find out next time. Okay. All right, folks. Uh, Vince, is a Petro or a V3? Uh, you know what? Uh, V3 Petro. Yeah, I mean that's I mean that's that's you're gonna you're gonna get a clean cup as get okay, you're gonna get very very clean. Okay, folks. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. I hope this video helps okay a little bit okay hopefully help you a little bit uh, pick out the next grinder for you, and uh, don't forget the T-shirts. Uh, uh, I'm gonna put all the link down below when I'm done with it. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. I'm going to see you guys. Hold on a second here. Is that Bob Barker passed down today? Is it Greg say Bob Barker? Uh, he is uh, one of my favorite game show hosts. Hold on. We're going to do the fact check on Greg here. Bob Barker. Oh, wow. 99. Goodness. Man. Bob Barker passed away today. Yes. 99 years old. Man, uh, he, uh, he had his life for sure. I'm going to big shout out to Bob. Okay, folks. I'm going to see you guys next time.